Hey guys, what's up? So, thought I'd do a bed expansion and a linear rail upgrade on this printer. I'd already upgraded the Z-axis with linear rails, but I wanted to do the same thing for the uh, X-axis and the Y-axis. So, I bought a, some parts and um, get that going. So, at the same time, I actually wanted to expand the printer. I wanted to make it bigger. And... Uh, so this is actually a 400 millimeter rail, and this is like 300. So this originally was that $40 Craigslist printer that I got on a e or a Craigslist. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's originally uh, what's it called? Anet E10, and but obviously it's a totally different system now. It's running a SKR 1.3 32-bit board with uh, Marlin 2.0 and uh, Trinamic 2208 2208 drivers, and I have a 40 amp power supply. So it's totally different, and then I actually had this, I'd already done this other rail uh, upgrade with the TiVo, uh, what's it called, the, uh, not TiVo, with the E3 Titan Aero type setup. And I'm going to be switching over to a Bontech setup. I've done uh, quite a few videos on the Bontech stuff, but uh, yeah, I, re I really like the Bontech stuff. Because I had the Bontech in a, my uh, printer bot here, and it's definitely way more precise, I think, than the Titan Aero. Um, just that dual drive extruder. So I'm gonna actually be upgrading to that, and I also got uh, a CR10 bed here. So um, that's 310 by 310. So that's actually why I have to expand the uh, rails here with the 400 millimeter rails. So got a lot of work to do, um, but linear rails are the way to go, no doubt. Because even you still get slop on these things. Oh, came off. But you still get slop on these rails, you know. So, to me, the the least the solution with the least amount of slop are the linear rails. So, all right, here it is. Just gives you a better look. Let's go. What I'm dealing with here. So, I'm actually just going to be expanding this piece, this piece, the X rail, and this top piece. And I'm also going to be putting uh, a couple 400 millimeter linear rail supports that are going to go. that off so this will actually sit on top of the linear even though you don't really need those these things are so rigid as is I mean that's kind of overkill having the extra piece of uh, 2020 rail to support that but only a couple bucks to do that so um, yeah I think that wheel design is probably the worst freaking design for a 3d printer you know um, just for slop and stuff you know and you can't have any slop any slop actually gives you lower quality prints you know what I mean it's like ah all right all right, so I got a lot of stuff to take off here. All right, so I'm gonna use this rail as a template to drill new holes, and then I'm gonna use that drill press. All right, so I just made the uh, holes progressively bigger with different bits, and I kept the plastic on there so I wouldn't mar the metal, at least as much as possible. All right, got one more piece to do, and we're good to go. All right, another one of the things I'm doing too is I'm taking the Z motor, and I'm going to flip it around to the front because this this actual the new axis mount actually has a, a Z motor for the front right here. So, but links where you can get all this stuff. But all right, so that's going to move to the front, and that's the old A net bracket. So, all right, all right. So I got the expansion completed right there, and now I'm going to put these, these are going to be the linear rail supports, so I'm going to have to get those in there. And then um, I also have these uh, they're like aluminum tie-ins supports. I guess I could have printed some of these out, but uh, for 10 bucks, it was worth getting the actual metal ones. So that will actually connect the frame to the frame here. And my phone's are again, I'll be back. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I do actually have a uh, custom bed support, uh, the plate for this thing, the heated bed. That thing sits on right there, the CR10 heated bed. And uh, these are the support brackets that are gonna hold the linear rails. And I had the dual linear rails. I see the, the, the dual carriage on there. So uh, that's gonna evenly hold up the bed plate. I'm gonna have two of those. One, I'm gonna have to move this around to match the bed plate, but Ordered that on eBay and that should be here. 
Um, then we have a, one of these over here. And it's going to be full linear rail. Super stable. Like no play. Alright. 